hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a plus 8 is equals to a and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that uh, which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but now here now the reason of first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that find the value of a or find the roots of this equation so in order to find the values of a you need to do the method one and if uh, the question in your exam is that uh, you just verify that is this equation has solution or not then you can just do directly the second method okay so i hope so uh, you understand the reason why i can explain this question in method number one okay so further i hope so you like both of these methods and now here we move towards uh, the solution of uh, first method and in the first method we need to take uh, scaling on both of the sides so when you will take scaling on both of the sides it will be written as a plus eight whole square is equal to a square so further in the left hand side we use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square so uh, if you focus into the left hand side and after applying uh, this nice formula in the left hand side it will be written as uh, so first you have a square and plus 2 times of a and b the value of b is 8 and plus b square so b is 8 square and this is equals to a square uh, so here further uh, because our target is to find the values of a so far this we move this a square into the left hand side and it will becomes a square plus this is 2 times of 8 becomes 16 a plus this a square is equals to 64 this is positive a square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative a square so this is the negative term and positive term are gone and we will get here this is 16 times of a plus 64 is equals to 0 and now for the values of a we need to move the 64 to the right hand side and it will become 16 a is equals to minus 64 so for the values of a we need to divide both of the sides by 16 because we need to uh, remove the 16 from left hand side for this we need to do this step so that we divide both of the sides by 16 so this 16 is cancelled out by this 16 and we will get here a is equals to here we have this is 16 times 4 becomes 64 uh, so in the right hand side we will get here minus 4 so this is the uh, first root of the given equation which we get here in this method so this is the root of the given equation but now here we check that is this root be the solution or is this root be the extraneous root uh, so for this we need to verification of this root for verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a plus 8 is equals to a and we need to verify this value of a uh, so for the verification we substitute this value of a on both of the sides and we check its behavior so now you see here uh, when we put it here it will becomes minus 4 plus 8 is equals to uh, when you put it here it will becomes minus 4 and you see that minus 4 plus 8 becomes plus 4 is equals to minus 4 and here uh, you clearly see that this is the positive 4 this is the negative 4 but these two are not equal in general positive 4 is not equals to negative 4 okay and this is not possible that uh, positive 4 is equals to negative 4 so if this is not possible it means that the value of a is equals to minus 4 is not satisfied over this question statement so we conclude about a is equals to minus 4 is that a is equals to minus 4 be the extraneous root of the given equation and i hope so you already know about the extraneous root but now here i can explain that the roots which does not satisfy our given question statements is called the extraneous roots 
and the roots which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution but here unfortunately a is equals to minus 4 is not satisfied over given question statement so this is the extraneous root and the uh, we finally conclude about the solution set of this problem is that this question has uh, uh, no solution in general so this is the, our final conclusion uh, in the first method and now here we need we again solve this problem for a second method uh, and here our second method be the straightforward method and here i can just directly get the roots of this equation so first we copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a plus 8 is equals to a so this is the our given question statement and uh, uh, here uh, uh, you directly see that uh, when we move this a to the right hand side it will becomes 8 is equals to this is positive a when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative a and you see here negative and positive a are gone and we get here 8 is equals to 0 so here you see that 8 is not equals to 0 or in other words we say that it is not possible that a is 8 is equals to 0 so if this is not possible it means that we cannot get any value of a in the second method so if we cannot get any value of a this means that uh, in second method we cannot get uh, any solution of this question or in other words we say that this question has no solution so we see here from both of these methods we will get here no solution and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos